Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is one that um, a lot of you have contacted me about and informed me that Hourglass will be coming to QVC UK. Now, if you follow me on Instagram and on YouTube for a while, you know that A, I shop a lot on QVC and I shop a lot for Hourglass. Now, Hourglass, I have thought about this and I'm going to say it. Hourglass are my favourite makeup brand of all time. I have a lot of Hourglass makeup that I have been purchasing since 2012. Some bits obviously I've used up, some bits are OG, some bits I just keep collecting to see how I like new launches and stuff like that, if it's something that I think would work well with my makeup. Um, so what we're going to do today is I'm going to give you a run through of everything that I've got here, my recommendations, products I have used that didn't work so well for me and that I wouldn't necessarily recommend to you based on the reasons that I wouldn't purchase them again. And I've got swatches, I've got to talk to you about finishes, we're going to go really in deep about Hourglass to see if then you might want to take the law, the jump and see if you want to try some from QVC because not many makeup brands offer a money back guarantee and QVC do. So if you have been itching to try some Hourglass, I'm your girl to help you out. So without further ado, let's get into the video guys. So the makeup look I have on today is everything we're going to be going through in this video. I have applied it, I've videoed myself applying it, and I'm going to put some pictures up here or a split screen or a, just a complete screen whilst we talk through what I've done. So first of all, we're going to go to primer. I've only ever used this primer from Hourglass because it's the only one that works for oily combination skin. They have like an oil type one for really dry skin, but I do not want to go there. My skin is oily, combination-ish, but more on the oily side. I'm 42 years old. Um, and uh, yes, yeah, so that's kind of where we're at. I don't recommend this, only from the perspective that I wouldn't buy it again. Um, and it's the Veil Mineral Oil Free Primer SPF 15. As you can see, this one is almost done. I have scraped every little bit I can out of it. It's nice, but I didn't notice my makeup lasting longer. I didn't notice my pores were blurred. It, I always, every, every primer I have, I bat it against the Becca Backlit Primer. And this just doesn't cut the mustard for me. I've used this constantly since May last year, pretty much constantly, because once I'd worn it a few times and realised that I didn't really love it, I just kind of wanted to get rid of it, but I wasn't prepared to sell it. Um, it's one that I can use, like I say, no strong feelings, just not my favourite. And once I started buying my Beckers, that was kind of the end of that. Now, foundation. Hourglass have two foundations, and I have used both in these videos. So, the Vanish Foundation, this is the liquid foundation, obviously, and this one is a seamless finish, full coverage foundation. This is what I have on today across my whole face. And um, again, we'll be inserting pictures. And then I use the shade Nude. This is the shade Nude. And again, I will add swatches. So the first swatch is Nude. The second swatch is Sand in the um, stick foundation. And the third is beige in the stick foundation. So um, nude for me is probably the best for my winter skin. It looks quite orangey in the bottle, but it's actually really not. As you can see, it's blended beautifully. It is full coverage, but it's hourglass full coverage. Hourglass have this amazing thing where they make you look lit from within all the time. Regardless of what you put on your face, you get an amazing kind of glow. You can still see my skin through the foundation, but it is full coverage. I don't know how they do it. But I use two pumps uh, once it's been shaken on my skin for that. And then for um, the stick foundation, I today used it as a concealer, but... Um, when I use this as a foundation, I just draw, I do three lines here, three lines there, a few little zigzags there and one there, and I buff it out with my trusty brush by Bobbi Brown. 
and then where's the beige the beige one i've got the travel size and uh, this is the beige so i i like say i do like it it is probably the darkest i would say it's darker than sand um, so I haven't really had much opportunity to use this because the weather has been shocking. But that's the kind of base makeup. So then I went away off camera and I set my makeup with my Laura Mercier Translucent Honey Powder and I did my brows. Now, I'll tell you the reason. And I have got another full face hourglass video that I will link down below. And I will link it somewhere here or maybe at the end of the video because um, a lot of products that I bought before, I haven't bought again, not because I don't love them, but because when I first bought all of my hourglass type brow stuff, it was in May 2020, and I thought lockdown wouldn't last 18 months, um, but as it did last a lot longer, I didn't repurchase because I wasn't seeing anyone. So I was using the Maybelline, the cheaper stuff, but trust me, in those Black Friday sales, I'll be straight back on the brows. But in the video below, I did use the brow pencil and the brow fiber gel, and I recommend them so highly. My brows looked amazing. I rewatched the video yesterday when I had this idea to do this video, and I was like, once I've used up the bits that I have, or if a Black Friday sale comes up, I'm so buying those bits again. So I went off camera and did those things. Then I used bronzer. Now, again, in that video, I used the Radiance Bronze Light bronzer, but because I haven't got an hourglass bronzer at the moment for the same reasons, the whole lockdown reasons. So I used in the video the bronzers from the two palettes that I have. Now, every Christmas, hourglass bring out a six pan palette. And if you have the money to do it, I recommend it highly. This is last year's one, and it's called the Ambient Sculpture Palette. So I used this bronzer across my whole face, and then I used this one just to kind of buff the other one out, because the other one is quite intense, and this one is quite um, muted. So I've got swatches of both of these palettes I'm just going to insert them but basically I've gone left to right in all my swatches so in the swatches you'll see it goes da -da -da, da -da -da. so yeah that's the um sculpture palette the big one and this is the sculpted unlocked palette which is the smaller quad and um every year I buy these because 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 it has a finishing powder a bronzing powder, a blush and a highlight in this particular one, this quad, which I use in my handbag for work every single day. After I've had my lunch, I like to get the ambient lighting brush, which again, I highly recommend this brush. These were made to fit the palettes. So you will see that you can use. So I have this in my bag and this in my bag. I can um, blot my face down, I can use a powder, I can bronze a little bit, I can add a bit more blush and a bit more highlight. It looks like I've redone my makeup. It's amazing. And the same with the larger palettes. And now it's time for the eye look. So with Hourglass, I'm, uh, I love their eyeshadow, the way they look, but I don't own any, of, own any of their actual eyeshadows because they're very expensive. And I figure, I have a lot of eyeshadow. I don't need an hourglass eyeshadow. To me, where hourglass really stands alone is their finishing powders, their blushes, their foundation, those kind of base products. However, I did purchase some of the scattered light loose pigment glitters for the eyes because I just couldn't not, basically. When these first launched, um, I was a bit obsessed with them. I didn't go for it because each one, each full size is 28 pounds. That's for one. Now that's Natasha Denona mini palettes for five colors is 22 quid. So that's the kind of price point we're talking. But I got in a Black Friday sale, I got their previous year's Christmas trio of these, the travel sizes for I think it was like 26 quid or something for the three. 
and there is a gold, there is a pink, and there is a like taupey colour. Again, swatches will be here. And um, I love them. So I used my Maybelline Bad to the Bronze Eyeshadow Cream, uh, Cream Eyeshadow as a base because these are loose glitter pigments they have to stick to something so I basically used the Maybelline uh, eyeshadow cream eyeshadow and then I applied um, I applied foil which is the really bright gold shade I applied that and then I applied ray on top of it to kind of bring down the yellow of the gold because this is kind of taupey, really, really nice. And then as a crease colour, I used the bronzer again. So it kind of ties the look together, makes the eyes look kind of matching the face. Um, but again, all of these colours, even the blushes, can be used as eyeshadows. If you like a pink eye, really, really, really good. And uh, they blend out so seamlessly. And I used the, I always use a ambient lighting powder to diffuse the lines uh, sort of above here because I have hooded eyes. My makeup, when I apply it, I tend to get a line there and the, the, um, the uh, ambient lighting powder just kind of blends that line out. So I definitely like to use that as a bit of an eraser and I got that as a tip from Charlotte, um, Chanel Temple who is a makeup artist for Hourglass. Um, again, I will link her channel down below as well because there are loads of great tutorials on the Hourglass page. So yeah, so that was the eyes, really simple. And I used the Caution Mascara. I've used this a lot in my tutorials as a kind of, I had the mini one I got. Whenever you buy from Hourglass directly, you get a, um, a deluxe sample. And I always go for the um, mascara because it tends to last like three or four months for a little one. And um, I went and bought the full size because it was so great. So uh, that was the eyes, really, really simple look. Then was my favourite part, blushes. This to me started the hourglass craze for me. Um, their videos, when they post videos and, and show you how it, everything applies, it looks great and you think it can't actually be that good. In 2012, I went to America uh, with my other half and um, he left me at Sephora with my credit card, which was a massive fail on his point. And I bought all of the bits that I really wanted from Hourglass. So I picked up a couple of blushes. One of them is long gone, but um, I will go through the swatches. So again, the swatches that I'm showing you left to right are in the order that I'm showing you right now. So this is the one that I bought in 2012 and it's still going strong. And this is Diffused Heat. Um, and again, as I say, the blushes are so special because I will show you in another one, actually, because uh, this is a bit battered. But as you can see, it's like marbleized, And the marble is basically the pink is the blush, obviously. And they all have the ambient lighting powder running through. So when it says diffused heat, it's like it's a diffused powder. There's um, there's like a they're, they're all different names, the, the finishing powders. And one is diffused, and this will give you a lovely diffused look with a hint of flush of blush. Uh, this one is Euphoric Fusion. This is my autumn winter go-to because it's quite a plummy shade. And then we have at night. If I had to pick one blusher for the rest of my life, this would be it. It's, as you can see by the swatch, it's very corally, but it kind of works with absolutely everything. This one has got a lot more of the ambient powder in it than it does the blush. Um, and because they're all baked, it does differ. So you might get one that's um, a lot more, you know, a lot more color in it, like this one. This is Iridescent Flash, and this is a strobe blush. So this has got the highlight in it. So the pink is the blush color and the ambient lighting powder in it is a strobe. So it's kind of a real highlight. So it's got, this is the one I think I've got on now and it's really bright um, and pretty. And like I say, as you can tell by the swatches, the swatches are literally me going in like that and then putting it on my hand, like two or three swipes. So when you use it with a brush, don't be afraid because they are, as you can see, quite natural, but you should try them in store or get them from QVC and try, you know, but their blushes 
to me is kind of where I think you need to start with your hourglass journey. Then we get on to highlight. I was not a highlight person until I got this <laughs> trio. <laughs> this trio, I got it in a Black Friday sale because it was discontinued. It was limited edition, discontinued. They bought it back for one year and I got scared. So I bought it and I was gonna return it and I didn't, I thought I'm gonna try it. And honestly, it's so gorgeous. And again, I've hardly used it because of lockdown. So the picture, the one I use in the video is this one. And this is the Brilliant Strobe Light and it's the travel size. And this I got again, Black Friday, I got like 25% off and the travel size is actually quite reasonable. Honestly, with one of their highlights, this is all you need. As you can see by the swatches, they are so bright, so pigmented. You could see by the application that literally one swipe in my brush, I've had this for almost a year and look, I've not, it's not even touched the size. This, I don't even wanna know how many hundreds of years this will last me. Like it'll probably last me my entire life. So um, I highly recommend these. And yeah, the little travel ones are pretty easier to find these days than this one, because this has been discontinued again. But this is brilliant strobe light, and it's the first swatch in the hand swatches. Um, so the other three are these ones. But yeah, any hourglass um, highlight that you think would match your skin tone. I tend to go for like champagne colors, slightly peachy as opposed to pink or rose. I'm more kind of yellow skin tone, so I tend to go for the more champagne colors. And then to tie everything together, these are the ambient lighting powders. And these were the first things that came out from Hourglass that I noticed in the UK. And all the bloggers at the time on YouTube were banging on about this candle lit from within glowy look um, that you just don't get from other powders. And these powders are quite pricey. It's like 38 pounds, I think, for a full size. I could be wrong, I'll post it here. And um, this one is diffused light. So basically they all give you different effects on the skin. So this will make your skin look diffused. And again, it all works in light. As you will see by the swatches I'll put, um, so the swatches go uh, luminous light, dim light, and then diffuse light. So this is luminous light. As you can see, it's a bit more glowy and it's a bit more orangey, peachy kind of tone. This is probably one of my favorites. Um, I love this for an afternoon touch up or for a night out because it does give you quite a lot of glow, but in a good way. When Hourglass do a glow, it's a proper glow. It's not like a glittery, it is like a sheen. It's beautiful. And then the dim light again is a bit more kind of muted. It's a bit beigey almost. But on, it gives you that beautiful dim candlelight look and blurs everything out, makes your makeup look glorious. And the one that I use today in the video is the diffuse light. And this looks really pale. For me, it looks really pale. But honestly, it gives me that kind of diffused, blurred. I mean, my skin, it doesn't look any, it doesn't look too pale because of this. And this is what you use over your makeup when you've finished everything. Just to kind of tie everything together, mix it all together, and it blurs, perfects all of your makeup. It is the perfect finishing touch or afternoon touch up. Then we go on to lip products. Didn't think I needed an hourglass lip product. Never thought about it until, uh, again, last year in the, uh, Black Friday sale, I picked up the trio of the eye shadows and the double uh, lip pens, pit lipsticks, I can't even say it. So where Hourglass are quite clever with their packaging, and I have to say this one I don't love, it's not the most high end, but it works. So you buy, if you're gonna buy them singly, you purchase the outer case that comes with a lipstick and you can switch them in and out. So they have cartridges almost. The cartridges look like this. So you lift the lid off, you remove the cartridge, you get your next cartridge, lift that out, clip it in, and then pop that on top. Right, get the right lid, pop that on top, done. 
so you can switch out the colors. Now, even though you do this, it doesn't make them any cheaper. In fact, they're actually really expensive. The cartridges are like 22 pounds or something. Um, I love the colors. The formulations are beautiful. Again, I wouldn't say you necessarily need an hourglass lipstick, but because in these kits, I got this particular one, this beautiful gold one, with an additional gold um, cartridge. And the colours, you get a nude and a red, or uh, a nude and a dark. So I will insert the swatches. And um, yeah, I, I love them and I think they're so great. And because I've now got four colours, I don't need any more because all I ever really wear is a nude or a red. And the nude's actually really nice. Today I have the red on, I have At Dusk, and this is from, the gold ones are from last year and the silver ones are from 2019. Um, so yeah, I really love those. And um, I will, like I said, a lot of Hourglass stuff is limited edition, so I will link below the website and what I can find. But uh, yeah, I, I kind of got a little bit um, out of control with all the stuff I was showing you. And then to finish the look off, to finish off all the makeup, I used the Veil Soft Focus Setting Spray. I wouldn't recommend this, only from the point of view that for a setting spray, it's ridiculous ridiculously expensive it's uh 47 pounds now when i bought this i did get it at 20 percent off so it was like 38 pounds still ridiculous but i have paid that i do pay that for a setting spray so not completely insane but this to me made my skin way too glowy you'll see in the picture i sprayed it on just a few spritzes and the only way I can really make it work for me is to then buff it in or just to tap it in with a beauty blender to set all of the makeup down. It does make it look really nice and really glowy, but because our glass makeup is all glowy, you're putting glow upon glow upon glow. So in my roundup, I will explain what I recommend and what I would stay away from if you are a first time buyer of Hourglass. I also did put in a couple more swatches of the, um, I've got a little mini lip but a lip gloss that they gave me as a deluxe sample and the same with a lipstick. This is the lipstick icon, which is their famous, most famous red ever. And it's a beautiful dark red. And this is sublime and it is unreal. Uh, Unreal Gloss, and it does give you a really nice gloss. Again, I've included an image. So those are all of my Hourglass items. Literally every single thing has been swatched and whatever I can put on my face has been put on my face. So let's go to the roundup. So here we are for the final thoughts. What do I think you need? What do I think you could live without? So as well as everything else we've mentioned about Hourglass and how great they are, blah, 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 they are vegan and cruelty free. They give a proportion of their profits to an animal charity, which I am all about. I think that's a great thing. As a practicing, trying to be vegan, I'm trying to be as vegan as I possibly can. I don't eat any meat, but I still kind of go towards fish, but I'm trying, I'm really trying my best uh, to be as vegan as possible. So all that as well, I think that's great. What should you try as a person that's not bought any hourglass before? What should you go for? What should you stay away from? In my opinion, if we were friends chatting about hourglass, I would say, first of all, the first thing you need is a finishing powder. One that will suit your skin tone, things that will suit what you want to happen to your skin. The older I get, the more I appreciate quality products. Anything that gives me a lit from within, dim, light, reflective, make me look as beautiful as possible, I am here for it. And as I've said before, since 2012, I have bought Hourglass finishing powders and used them every single day. No exaggerations. I have gone through loads of these finishing powders and I will always use them. That's a one. Number two, I think you need blush. Um, again, because blush, I feel so important to your makeup routine. It gives you a flush of color. It gives you a glow. These give you both. You get the ambient lighting powder in with the blush as well. So if you use an ambient lighting powder um, and then the blush as well, or either way around, you get that gorgeous glow from both. As you can see, I've got this pretty pink sort of shimmery thing going on here. Those are the two things I think you cannot live without. I do like their brushes. 
they're tricky to wash though because they are dual ended. This one is great for the palettes. And as I've said before, I have bought the palettes every year since they've come out since 2012 at Christmas. And I have two of these brushes. I keep one in my handbag, one in my makeup bag. And uh, this one, ooh, this one I love for ease. I use this as my blush brush, as you can tell. And this is a kind of doing everything brush. This is kind of applying my uh, finishing powder or just kind of dusting off makeup under my eyes. You know, it's a really nice brush, soft, that just kind of does everything. The way that I wash mine with this and the smaller one, I wash one end at a time and I wait for it to dry. So usually I use my blush end a lot more than this end. So I wash the blush end first, leave it on the side to dry. When I wash it, obviously just you wash it like I normally do, leave it on the side to dry sitting like that, sitting flat. And then I wash the other side when it's dry. It takes twice as long, but it's better than uh, having these break in the middle and having to super glue them together. Been there, done that. No, thank you. So I think a good brush is worthwhile. I'm a big advocate for a good brush. Um, and then I, I think the other thing you would need is a Christmas palette. It's a really good way to dip your toe into hourglass. With them, you always get setting powders. You always get a, a bronzer and you always get a blush or two and a highlight. It's a really good way to test all of the powders in the hourglass range. Now onto things I don't think you necessarily need at all. Uh, first of all is the mascara. I love it, but I got this one at 20% off in their sale, um, which took it down to about £22, which is what I average pay for a mascara. So that's why I got it. If I hadn't have had that discount, I wouldn't have bought it at £29, but I do like it. Um, but I wouldn't run out to buy it again. I'm not loyal to, to mascara at all. I'll just buy whatever's cheapest. Um, the veil setting spray, as we said before, to me, it was way too glowy. I would have sold this on eBay when I um, first bought it, but because of the tin, you can't see how much is left. I didn't want to risk selling on eBay and somebody being like, oh, it's empty or whatever, when it clearly was only used once. So I have used it. It feels like it's to about here and I got it last May. So I am getting there with it, but I don't love it. And especially with mask wearing, it is not good for masks because it is glowy. So you put a mask on top and you get the lines and it's not good. Um, that's it, really. I think the, the lipsticks again, I love the lipsticks, but you don't necessarily need a lipstick. They're great. They're long lasting. They're really pretty colours. But again, I only got it because it was in a discount. I wouldn't have rushed out to buy an hourglass lipstick. But um, if you were to start your hourglass journey, blush and the, uh, the finishing powders for sure, and a Christmas palette, because it gives you a bit of everything. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was useful. I hope the swatches and the application tips were useful. And I hope it made you want to give it a go, because hourglass to me is brilliant. They're the most luxurious brand that do deliver what they promise. And I am all about that. As I get older, the quality is important. So please let me know down below what you love from Hourglass, what you found you didn't love so much. And, uh, you know, let's get into a conversation. So I will see you in the next video, guys. Take care and uh, see you soon.